of the tutorial video for the strategy game province creator. So this will show you how to use this asset. The first thing you're going to need for this asset is an image. You want this image to be about the same size of the terrain that you're overlaying with the provinces. And what you're going to want to do is place black pixels wherever you want a province to be. And what the converter will do is look at the image, look at a, and if it finds a black dot, it'll put a point for the Veroni diagram. And then it will make a Veroni diagram based on those points. So it will ignore every other color besides the one speci specified color you put into the uh, program. So these black dots are counted and all these other colors are not. So I'm using those colors as kind of a overlay of what I want the province to look like and where I want the provinces to be. So once you have that, you need to save that into your project direct main directory where your .sln is for Visual Studios if you use that or where the assets folder is. And once you do that, you need to create a new game object, call it whatever you like, and then add the MeshMaker script. The first thing you'll do is add the train that you're using to um, here. You just drag and drop, like everything else in Unity. And then you need to input the file name of whatever you saved the image as. Then you need to do need to make sure that the province create province borders is selected. Um, you only deselect this if you don't want it to create the mesh that shows the borders, but you almost always want that. Color map you will use once, so check that if this is your first time using it and deselect it if it if you don't need it anymore. Um, the color map is used for ray casting, so you, when you overlay the picture in Unity and you ray cast, it will pick up the color and then it will tell you what color is you know ray casting from the mouse and then you can have it look at the whatever color the color map is and it'll tell you which province it is it's what most strategy games used for province selection next is detail um, this is default to one and the higher the detail is the lower the detail actually will be so 10 is a much rougher image than say 0.1 or something uh, it w each one represents one unit in unity will it will change the y height at every one unit so i found for this map which is around 2001 unit works perfectly fine it creates very smooth looking curves but if you're using a smaller map with more detailed um, terrain or something like that then you probably might want to go to a lower detail or well, a higher detail but a lower number then you have the red, green, blue. This will be the color that it looks for when it's looking at your image. Um, I would suggest sticking with 000 and just using black dot, black pixels like I have. But if you want to change it, you can do that here. And then lastly is the material. And that's what the material the mesh will use when creating the province border mesh. So we'll run that. And wait for it to go. And then we'll lift up this up and it'll show you what the province borders look like. So they aren't super detailed around France because I didn't put any provinces there, but you can kind of see what it looks like with Italy and create some pretty nice provinces for you. So it's also pink because I didn't choose a material. Um, and then once you've done that, I've Normally it would take much longer with the color map, but since I've already done that, I will show you what it looks like. So what you're going to get out as an output is this color map. Um, this is used for ray casting, as I said, and each section will be a different color. And to tell where each province is and what color it is, you look at this output. So this output will tell you the province number, the X coordinate of the province of where the point is, the Y position, and then the red, green, blue. And it will go through every single um, blue, and then it'll go through, it will, if you have more than, I think I do every two, and then if it goes through 255, then it will add two to blue or green, and then it will restart. So you can have thousands upon thousands of provinces. So. That wraps the everything up. I hope you enjoy the uh, asset, and if you have any questions, comment and ask, and just, yeah.
just comment below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Alright, thank you. Goodbye.